Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist where I teach beautiful soulful women just like you how to nourish and heal your energetic blockages. Now today I'm going to be giving you a general reading which is all about the new moon in Scorpio on November the 18th which is super exciting. Now this is a general reading so what that means is whatever pops up in your subconscious at the end of today's reading that's your divine message from your angels today. So let's get started. We're going to take the first deck, which is the Angel Oracle from Dorian Virtue. Okay, angels, can we have clarity, please, for my MK Love fan for the new moon in Scorpio on November the 18th? Just one card, please. Okay, there we go. Ooh, blessing in disguise. I love this card for a number of reasons. It's kind of like your wound. I, I heard like the wounded soldier. Like check out her face. She's kind of like, oh, it's like things may not be going the way that you have envisioned them to be in your head, but the universe is letting you know that this is a blessing in disguise. Everything is working out for your highest good, even though you don't see it clearly just yet. It says, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. Well, that one is self-explanatory. I don't even really need to say too much. Let's move on. Okay. Be so interested to hear what came up in your subconscious as soon as I pulled that card. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on blessing in disguise for my beautiful MK Love fam for the new moon in Scorpio on November the 18th? Just one card, please. Okay. Ooh, innocence. Okay, so this could be taken a number of ways is that whatever has happened, it means that nobody intentionally meant to hurt you. It was innocent. And then I heard that song, Innocent Eyes from Delta Goodrum. Um, think of it as like the innocence of a child, hence like the infant here. It's beautiful, this card. It says, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that shred your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So it's kind of like you need to surrender to what has happened. Surrender to the process. I made a video about this in my latest episode of Q&A Tea Time. I'll link it on the end card for you. It's like, this has happened, but what has happened for you wasn't intentionally there to hurt you. It comes from like a childlike innocence and it wasn't malicious at all. It's just sometimes when we don't pay attention to what's going on for the universe, the universe puts up roadblocks to be like, we're not going this way. I remember I read for a client the other day and one hand was pointing this way and then another hand was that way. It's like, you're not going that way anymore and, and it is perfectly fine. So we're gonna close that door and put you back on track so you keep progressing and just know that you're protected. Everything is working out perfectly and you are exactly where you need to be. So say this mantra, I am where I am and it's okay. Say it, I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am and, no, what is it? I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am and it's okay because it's all that I've got. Yeah, that's really, like you don't get a better card than that. Like you have all of the different colors of the chakras that there. It's like nothing is blocked through this innocence. It's just, it wasn't meant to be the way that you wanted it to be and that's okay. All right, let's see exactly where your blockage is. This is interesting. All right, we're gonna move on to the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Dome Virtu. This deck usually tells me where the blockage is, but just keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just, if something pops up in your subconscious, perfect. If not, then just leave that card. 
Okay, angels, can we have clarity on blessing in disguise and innocence for my beautiful MK love fan? This is a general reading for the new moon in Scorpio on November the 18th. One card. That has never happened before. It landed straight on my toe. And then the first, <laughs> the first card is expect a miracle. I don't like the illustration of that. That dude is creepy. Can I just, just focus? Expect a miracle. I just keep hearing wounded healer. And my heart chakra, as soon as I saw, like he's covered in green here, as soon as I saw that, I was just, my heart felt like tension in it. Maybe the cards falling out is like, okay, we got your attention now. Okay, so your prayer is, dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for your miraculous intervention and healing energy, which has restored the health of blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, it's a doctor's scene. So it could be someone is sick. It doesn't necessarily mean a doctor. You can be your own doctor. You can be your own healer. It's like when you, when you align yourself to be when you align with your true authentic self, that means you're doing your self-love practices, you're vibrating on the frequency of love, which is the highest frequency and where miracles occur. Um, it's like you need to do your self-love practices. So download my self-love starter kit if you haven't already got it. The link is in the description or jump to my website, melaniekatelove.com forward slash start here. Download that because it's like when you have when you surrender to the process and you just allow what is happening, even though you're like, why is this happening? This is terrible. Maybe somebody is sick for you. It's just the universe is giving you a way to, I don't know how to word this one because this could be very sensitive for a lot of you. It's like it needed to happen for a reason to get a different perspective because sometimes when we have a different perspective, we can then start to do things differently because if you keep doing the same things, you're going to get the same results. So if the universe kind of shuffles things up for you, it's kind of like, okay, you need to take a different approach so you get a different result. That's interesting. Can you see it's kind of like, there's the doctor, oh, I'm going to point on this side. There's a doctor here and then there's the, obviously the family members. And this person is laying down and then you've got an angel here. It could also be Reiki. Um, I'm going to do a video about Reiki because I went to um, like a healing kind of workshop last weekend and there was a lady practicing Reiki and I started doing Reiki on myself in the shower one night. Um, and I've never done Reiki before. I didn't even know how to do it. And I could literally feel my body heal. So maybe some of you need Reiki. Reiki is another way to energetically, is to like move energy within the body. Thoughts is another way. And it like, I just hear there's a time and place for it. So if it works for you, great. I don't know. I, I don't like his face. Something about his eyes. He's very mysterious, but it just could be the way he's drawn. Okay, let's get more clarity. Such an interesting reading. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on blessing in disguise, innocence, and expect a miracle for my beautiful MK Love fam? Just one card, please. Did you see that? been flying around oh okay you need to go out into the sun dude look how hot he is boom <laughs> okay so you need sun for vitamin d which vitamin d helps to absorb different types of minerals within your body and if you're not getting that aspect or if you're living in 
a very miserable part of the world and you're not getting enough sunlight, you need to, well, the nat most natural form of sunlight is the best, but if you don't have access to that, depending on where you live, then you may need to supplement for it. But if you're taking a vitamin D supplement, please look into it because a lot of it is just, um, it's basically crushed up rocks, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate? I had to look into this when my mom had osteoporosis and her um, doctor prescribed her all this crap. And I was like, oh my God. Anyways, side note, my mom healed her osteoporosis naturally. Um, yeah, you need sun. Sun just, like sun is another way. It could be a self-love practice for you. It just makes you feel good. And it's out in mother nature. So it's kind of like a two in one. And I feel like you need to go outside more just to move the energy. Even if it's just to take a breath of fresh air and breathe in, breathe out and just feel, I just feel like I just see, oh, this is weird, to see someone walking on the grass, shoes off, like in a dress and like twirling around and going like this and was like, just, I just see someone being free and, um, Oh my gosh, there's so many thoughts running through my head, I can't get them out quicker enough. Someone just like running through fields with shoes off, laughing, jumping, and just having the best time. So, he is carrying a basket full of fruit. Um, so this could be eating high vibrational foods. Um, Say, dear King Raphael, please help me enjoy the benefits of sunshine in self and healthy ways. So however that looks like for you, you need to go outside. Okay, let's, let's just move on to another deck. This is so interesting. All right, so far we've got blessing in disguise, innocence, expect a miracle and sunlight for the new moon in Scorpio. Okay, angels, can we have clarity, please, on those cards? Just one, please. Oh, this is a numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. Oh, gosh. Now I'm second-guessing myself, and I'm overexposed. Let's try again. One card, please, angels, just clarity. Okay, that was quick. Domestic harmony. This came up on Instagram when I did when I did a three card spread for you guys. Okay, so domestic harmony could be like like creating. So this, so whatever this blessing in the disguise was, it possibly has affected who you are in your house, which has made you to be more like cranky and edgy and jumpy and like not very nice to your loved ones or it could represent that this blessing and uh, I don't know how to say this domestic harmony things may be restoring itself like things have obviously may have fallen away however that looks but just know that domestic harmony is going to be restored you need to keep working on your self-love practices, expect a miracle, whatever has happened. I know this is probably a triggered a lot for you. And let me read this one. It's kind of thrown me a bit because I think my own personal stuff is coming up now. Let's just, okay. So it says this card indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, a family member, or an ex or current partner, house guest or roommate. It can even relate to problems you have had with the actual health itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic harmony is within your reach. This card can indicate the time, indicate a time to take a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to communicate to your present residents by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. 
Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family or home. Domestic harmony can be achieved with effort, compassion and compromise. By improving your relationships with your home, you will improve your quality of life. I have a happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. In saying that, don't ever settle for something that is not in alignment with your true, authentic self. I cannot wait to read the comments. Sure, that one would have rustled a lot of feathers. Okay, let's get clarity on blessing in disguise, innocence, expect a miracle, sunlight, and domestic harmony for my beautiful MK Love fam. One card, please. Help us piece the puzzle together. Okay, is it the back one? Yep. Physical activity. Okay, so this is another way. So it's like you can expect the miracle by going out in the sun. What I love about this reading is it's just kind of like reinforced itself. Like it says, yeah, you can, whatever's happened, okay, it's fine. Expect a miracle, but you need to, in order to get to your domestic harmony, what you need to do is go out to the sun, get some physical activity, start raising your vibration, start pumping that lymphatic system, which will help rid toxins of your body's body. And that will help you to get into the right vibration for a miracle to occur. This reading is so crazy. Physical activity. So think about what is something that you've been thinking about recently in regards to exercise that your subconscious has been telling you to do, but you haven't already done. Mine is doing that yoga that's a kilometer down the road. I've been putting it off and I was like, oh, I got my period this week. I can't go. And it's like, I've got to do extra work. It's like, just do it. Because maybe you're going to, it's just like changing your perspective and and I just keep hearing that thing, you need to do something you haven't done to get the results that you want or to get the outcome that you desire for this miracle to come through. Ooh. I hope that if some of you are going through a really tough time and some of your family members are truly sick, I want you to send them love. So to send them love, I close... Well, what I do is I close my eyes, I go into a meditation state or meditative state and I send a white bubble around their whole body and then I put a gold trim around it. I'm just visualizing their body, white bubble, gold trim and inside that bubble is just love infiltrating into their subconscious. It's like going all the way through and it's just it's like it's maybe that this person that you're thinking about or it could be you don't know how to get there, but by you staying positive and surrendering to the process and just knowing that this has happened for a reason, it is a blessing in disguise. You have the power to help them. And, but sometimes people don't wanna be helped. So that's, that's kind of the double-edged sword where, that, where it gets a little bit tricky. But just know that you can only look after you and to protect your vibration, go out in the sun, do some physical activity. It could just be walking. I'm not asking you to run a marathon. Oh, good Lord, excuse the loud motorbike on my street. Um, <laughs> that's maybe the domestic harmony. Oh my God, I totally got the domestic harmony for us. We have new neighbors that like to P-A-R-T-Y on the weekends. Let me move on. Okay, so this is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. And let's get some clarity. I just need a drink, by the way, sorry. Hmm, okay. Angels, can we have clarity on blessing in disguise, innocence, expect a miracle, sunlight, domestic harmony, and physical activity for my beautiful MK Love fam. This is for a general reading for the new moon in Scorpio, November the 18th. One card, please. Ah, that 
one just came out. We got the Queen of Air. The Queen of Air. Independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in the situation. The humor in the situation. Well, laughter is the best medicine. It helps to raise your vibration. It makes you feel amazing. She's very powerful though, like Queen of Fire. Is it the Queen of the Fire? No, Queen of Air. She's totally in her power. And then she's got all these, what is he? Like a, let me read that one. What? Oh, I just turned to the air deck, awesome. Okay, so this can be in regards to a situation. Oh, I'm very exposed, sorry. Or it can be for a person. So if it's a situation, it says, your clear decision-making abilities are needed right now. See through any hidden agendas. It's time to remove anything or anyone from your life whose present no longer serves your greatest good. Still, try to see the underlying humor. If it's in regards to a person, someone with incredible insight and perspectiveness with regards to situations and people. A person with a marvelous wit, a keen mind, and a fought right personality that doesn't take life too seriously. A perfectionist, but not judgmental. An unmarried person, independent, experienced, candid, unrealistic. Additional meanings, the need to clear out the clutter. Wisdom forged, forged by real life experience, stalled romance, div divorce individuals. I feel like we need one more card. I'm not getting enough clarity so it's like something's happened there's innocence behind it it wasn't malicious but you can expect a miracle or your domestic harmony whatever that looks by going out into the sun to raise your vibration getting physical doing some physical activity but you need to have objective decision making so it's like you need to get rid of anything that isn't serving your greatest good. So maybe this could be in regards to a job and someone let you go and you're like, are you kidding me? But it's a blessing in disguise. And it's like, if someone is going to go to the, the length to make your life messy or crazy, why do you want them in your life anyway? Just remove them and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for this beautiful experience, but I set you, for, I surrendered to this process and in turn, I set myself free. This could be used for the same for a partner. Maybe it wasn't working out. Whew, there's so many things that could come up. That's, that's the difficult thing about general readings. It's, I find them, hard, them the most hard, the, hard, the hardest to read for because I don't have enough pieces of the puzzle because it could be so diverse. That's why I really enjoy doing private reading so I can get details for just your situation. So if you want detailed clarity and you wanna like skip the struggle of learning how to piece all of this together by yourself, please book yourself your very own private spiritual reading. The link is in the description and it will take you straight to my shop or you can find me at melaniekatelove.com forward slash shop. All right, let's get another card. I don't feel like I've reached a conclusion yet. Okay. Angels, can we have clarity on blessing in disguise? Innocence, expect a miracle, sunlight, domestic harmony, physical activity, and queen of air for my beautiful aunt. Okay, love fan. Another one fell out. Then I heard another one bites dust. Oh, okay, so the universe is like, dude, we gave you all the cards, but <laughs> okay. It says, be, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, pretending there is no problem. Ah, so maybe some of you are in denial, which is kind of what this one is saying too. It's like the objective decision making. This one's saying being unable or unwilling to make a decision. 
So it's like you're locking horns with somebody. Can you see that? And one of them is kind of like, I kind of see like the yin and the yang, like the contrast in that. Oh, one of the horses is looking down, looking so sad, and the other one's got red in its eyes, like evil as hell. Look, he's sad, and he's like, I don't want to do this, I want this to be over, and this one is like, it's on. That's not nice. I feel like you need to just surrender to the process. Okay, let me tell you a quick little story. About three months ago, I made a forgiveness healing guided meditation. It's, I think it's 33 minutes and 33 seconds or something along that. And it's all about surrendering and being vulnerable and sending white light to somebody, putting that bubble around them and that gold trim and you're just infiltrating them with, with love and you're just saying, you know, I understand that this is what happened and it, it doesn't make me feel really good and I just want you to know that I don't want to fight anymore and I don't want to feel like this anymore because what I have control over is the way that I feel so I take my power back by surrendering to the process because you are saying to the universe Whatever the outcome is, I know that you've got my back. I know that I'm divinely protected. I know that you've like, you're watching over me. And I just see, I see someone like sitting down on a bed, not crying, but like head down. And then I see someone putting like a blanket over them and cuddling them. And then as they're cuddling them, it's kind of like, then you start getting upset because you've had such, um, ooh, <laughs> you've had like such strong walls up for such a long time. Oh my God. And you just don't want to feel like this anymore. Holy shit. But miracles happen. That's why you got this card here. It's like you don't need to worry anymore. You can have the domestic harmony, but sometimes that means letting go of someone that doesn't serve your highest good, which is the most difficult thing in the whole wide world to do. But... If you're not being treated the way that you feel in your soul that you were meant to be treated, just know that you can find someone, whether that is a boss, a romantic partner, a friend, however that looks like for you, you can find someone that treats you like a queen or a king and well, a queen. And you have the power to be that independent and strong woman or man I do have 20% of men watching me <laughs> but it's going to be okay but you need to surrender because you're button heads and it, it's not getting you anywhere if anything it's causing more angst within yourself and you have to you have to stop because I don't know how long this has been going on maybe this has been going on for years weeks days I don't know however long it's too long and you need to stop so what I'm going to do Backstory. You know how I said I made that forgiveness, healing, guided meditation. I knew that I would release it on a new moon. I just didn't know which one. And so on November the 18th, I will release my forgiveness, healing, guided meditation because you guys need it. You need to surrender to the process. And it's very interesting because in that meditation, I made it at a time where I really needed to forgive someone. And so I channel, like every video I make is basically a video to myself, disguised to help you. Um, and so I made this forgiveness healing person to make peace with somebody. And in it, you'll hear my voice gets a little bit teary because I'm literally picturing this person in my head and sending them so much love. And in the process of that, all the emotions that I have been suppressing for so long comes up. Hence why I feel very emotional talking about this because I kind of tapped into your energy and what you guys are going through. And I just want to let you know that you don't have to do this by yourself. If you need extra help, I can help you 
identify where the blockage is, probably you already know, but more importantly, giving you the strategies and tools so you can release that blockage and you can feel that sense of that relief where the shoulders come down and you just feel like it's going to be okay because you've had your, your guard up for too long and it's time to stop. You need to cut it out. I don't know what this means for some of you. Maybe I'm only talking to a few of you. I don't know. That's why I love reading the comments. But on November the 18th, which is the new moon, I don't know exactly what time. I'm not doing it at 1.11 a.m. That was just crazy what I did last time. Um, on my shop, I will release that for you because you guys need that, okay? I just wanted to tell you that I love you so much and you can do this. You have the power to literally heal yourself. You're your own intuitive healer. You just have to tap into that intuition by doing some exercise, going out into the sun and just surrendering to the process and having faith that everything is working out perfectly. And sometimes things need to fall apart before they can be put back together and then you rebuild yourself and you become stronger. And then I heard that, I'm stronger than yesterday. My loneliness is killing me wrong. That's Britney Spears, good Lord. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys need, you, you need to give, I just feel like you need, someone is going to be there to just give you a hug and you're just going to fall apart and you're just being like, I've been, you, you know, people don't cry because they're weak. They cry because they've been strong for such a long time and you need to cry. You need to feel those emotions and set yourself free. Jump over to my um, release blockages playlist. Make your way through that. The three thumbnails that have the letter writing technique on, it's like stationary, they are golden. You need to follow them if you're ready. Some of you may not be ready and you'll be like, ah, oh, Mel, it's fine. Um, another video to watch is coping versus healing. That is important because some of you have just been coping for way too long and it's time to finally heal that blockage. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to do. Oh my goodness. So let me just summarize. We're 32 minutes, good Lord. So you need to um surrender to the process so watch that video um how to surrender it's in q a tea time the other one is release emotional blockages playlist in particular those three videos with the stationary thumbnails the other one to watch is oh my gosh there's so many you need to download my self life starter kit but if you need help and you want me to help you book yourself a private reading oh my god and yes, my forgiveness healing meditation, which I've just decided in this reading, talk about going to flow, will be available on the 18th of November. Maybe I do it at the time the full moon is in full effect. I don't know. But yeah, from the 18th of November, um, I'll release that for you. It's 33 minutes. Yeah. Crazy. Wow, interesting reading. Was not expecting that. Let's do a quick recap of the cards. I kind of have done it throughout, but just in case you want a screenshot. Okay, you ready? Now I'm sweating on my armpits. Blessing in disguise. Innocence. Expect a miracle. I need to go out in the sunshine all around me. Domestic harmony. The physical activity, the queen of air, and two of air. Interesting reading, guys. Oh my gosh, I have to go. We're way too long. Comment below. I will be replying to you for um, the first hour that this video is live. I can't wait to hear from you. Oh my gosh. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And you can do this. You can honestly do this. You have the power to heal yourself. If you need extra help and assistance, book a private spiritual reading. All the links are in the description. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you on Sunday.